It's your boy Bug. It's been a long time um, since I uploaded something for you guys to hate on. And um, I want to talk about my new favorite deck. It's Orcus. So I'm going to get straight into it. One Armageddon Knight. You already know. One Sky Blaster. You already know. One Dark Griffer. You already know. One Wand. I feel like you've got to run this. Um, he helps you extend. Um, I really miss Summon Sorceress. She was great with Wand. Um, triple Nightmare. Of course, this card is excellent. Um, it helps you set up Grave, and it can't be destroyed by Link Monsters in battle, so that helps sometimes. And <clears throat> please note that you cannot use this card's effect unless there's a monster on board. You can target your opponent's monsters to have them gain 100 times <clears throat> the level of the monster that you send to the grave and of course it has to be an orcus monster or you can send wand which I, I like to send wand if i can't triple horror he's the best guy um the reason why i run three nightmares and basically max out on all orcus is because of him my build's unique you guys already know fuck neck net decking Triple symbol. Um, my boys know this is my favorite orchest. Should be everybody's. I call him Bonehead. Banish him. Bring back an orchest monster. Next up, triple brass. Um, brass sucks, but I run three for a reason that you'll see later. And he can kind of fix hands um, if you open him and another Orcus. Next up for the non-Orcus monsters, we have the only dangers here, Triple Danger Mothman. This is my favorite danger for this deck because you can fix your hand if you hit Mothman, and of course if you don't hit Mothman, then you get to draw one and special summon him. So this guy comes in handy a lot. Now time for my exclusive tech. Triple Iron Dragon. Um, yeah, it's not like this card's a secret or anything. People are getting hip to it. Um, this deck is perfect for running him. Um, it's so easy to set up a board that just is equivalent to a U-Link. You can lock your opponent out of the extra. You can easy if you open him. You can easily set up to summon him on your opponent's turn and. Yeah, it can be pretty grimy. <clears throat> Next up, the last monster, Double Desperado Barrel Dragon. Um, <sighs> This card gets sided out a lot, um, but I like to main it because people never see it coming. Um, with the board you set up in Orcus, it kind of puts your opponent in a position where they have to attack. I mean, you have to attack to win the game, so they are going to have to attack into some dark machines, and that means it's going to be their battle phase, and since it's their battle phase, once you bring him out, after a dark machine is destroyed, you can toss a coin. You pop one monster for each heads you get. Um, which is three tosses. Sorry about that. Three tosses. Each heads. You will get a pop of a monster. And if you get three heads, then you draw a card, which almost never happens. But, I mean, you get a couple of pops off for free. Um, he just can't attack during the battle phase that you activate that effect. But 2800 beater, free. You know, triggers all the time. You have no idea. That's it for the monsters. No Phantom Knight package in here. Like, 
I think that's kind of lame. Yeah, I get it. And two disruptions. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. But I don't want to run any Phantom Knights in the main. I did run boots at one point um, when the rank up was legal because uh, a true king and uh, number 92. Um, number 92 is like my favorite exceed in the game. So I had to run it. But once once that car got banned, uh, yeah, I cut those guys um, onto the spells. One monster reborn just because it's a monster reborn. Get you more monsters. One card destruction, this card goes in in here. Um, you have Orcus in hand, just card destruction, let it rip. Bait the ash, you know. One for one to get um, brass. That's all it's here for. Um, and also to discard a card because similar to Dangerous, Orcus um, doesn't really care about their cards being discarded um especially my build because I, I have a ton of monsters unlike you know most people who only have like one brass one skeleton and three harps and the two nightmares one foolish burial that's also to set up the grave yeah people are going to talk shit for this but two babbles um just in case sometimes you just want something to search with galatea sometimes you don't want to pitch a card to um <clears throat> to get it back um you might need every card in your hand in, in that very moment so i'd rather sometimes get to search for a second one with galatea but other than that the second one kind of sits in the deck forever unless i just draw it um then we're gonna go off to triple call by the grave um this deck easily plays through hand traps most times like you're going they're going to need about like two to three disrupts to like totally shut you down unless they have some kind of crazy floodgate um so i mean i kind of use this just to target monsters that i don't want them to bring back or uh if a hand traps gets dropped and i just so ha happen to have it then i get to um say no to those Next up, <clears throat> our draw engine, which of course is going to be the Triple Allure of Darkness. Um, you want your Orcus Monsters banished, so this card is actually perfect for that, of course. And another thing that you uh, net deckers out there and um, pro Yu-Gi-Oh players are going to kill me for, not one, not two, but three orchestrated returns. Um, I chose to do this because I can't OTK you. Um, what I'm going to do is play the grind game. And since we're going to grind, there's going to be a couple of turns where we're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, maybe three, four, five, six turns, you know. And I'm just going to keep drawing if I can. Um, I mean, it's always available, obviously. So three of those. Um, I love it. You know, sure, a lot of you will hate it, but I love it. Now, for the spells, my my text, um, we've got the double magnet reverse. This card right here um, helps a lot. Um, you climb through all of your Orcus links and go into your Dengirisu. And at that point, you can set this or you can activate it. Um, if you set this, this is a perfect bait card. Like if your opponent goes to pop it, Magnet Reverse, Dengirisu, Send. Or Magnet Reverse, Dengirisu, uh, Attach. Or you can bring back Galatea, Search Something. Bring back Long Girisu, uh, Use His Effect. You, can, you know, this is all granted you have the field spell out. But this card um, is crazy. It's not a hard once per turn, so... As long as you have the monsters in grave, you can extend with this card. And the last tech is machine duplication. This card right here is stupid. Um, I guarantee you, you will never find another Orcus deck profile unless it comes after this that includes machine dupe. Um, with brass, all you have to do is open brass in this. Boom. Three monsters. Now you're free to go off. Um, all you have to do is open this. Send this to the grave. 
summon brass. Three monsters, you're good to go. Same concept, horror, nightmare. Summon it, duplication, three monsters. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys can imagine the type of plays you can do with basically two free monsters um, that have effects in the grave. Granted, yes, I like to stack Orcus monsters in the grave, but that's because I like to make sure that I always have the resources forever. Um, people have, who've seen me play this deck know that I just keep looping cards forever. I mean, you can, any, any build can loop cards forever, but when your deck is full of these basically vanillas that just get you more monsters, yeah, man, you just go off. And for the end, two crescendos. I like this card at two because it's a counter trap that banishes and... It's other effect to search a dark machine is clutch. Like, I literally searched Desperado off of this. Like, I don't even have to worry about, like, any battle phase shenanigans. I search Desperado, you try to attack, you destroy a monster, I summon Desperado, now I get to pop shit. I mean, of course, it can be hit with hand traps, whatever, any solemns or whatever, you know, people have, you know, nowadays, but... Uh, I think it's worth it. Um, having one can shut your opponent's turn down and then just setting up another one almost seals the game for you. So That's it for the name. I don't even know. I think that's 45. You know I'm never going with a 40. It's rare.